Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. What are we doing for this video? Well, for this video, we're breaking out the 50. The 50 BMG. So, probably the number one most requested comments have to do with the 50 BMG. So, you need to go deer hunting with the 50 BMG. We want to see the 50 BMG drop test. 50 BMG versus this. 50 BMG versus that. Well, <laughs> my 50 BMG is a Barrett M99. It's a big old 30 some pound Barrett bolt action. Believe it or not, um, it really is a precision long range 50. Has a big old bowl barrel. Things just awesome. I got a nice zero tech scope on it. Uh, not too long ago, I did a video talking about 50 BMG precision where I'm at it 100 yards. Yeah, let's let's hit a line. No problem. Disintegrates it. Let me show you that clip real quick. But needless to say, the 50 BMG is awesome. What I have in my hand right here, these are the 660 grainers uh they come i buy these on the belt fed machine gun uh and then declip them or whatever so um uh, yeah 50 bmg what we're going to do for this video is kill a couple birds with one stone so everyone wants to see the 50 bmg drop test and i'll do a drop chart so we'll see how much it drops and then um, everybody wants to see 50 BMG versus deer. We might be able to make that happen. It's still deer season in Tennessee, so I've got to make sure that that 50 is sighted in dead on. So come on out to the range. We'll take the 50. Let's see what happens. Should still be sighted in. Uh, we'll see how good my trigger squeeze is today. And yeah, should be pretty cool. Every day at the range with the 50 is a good one. Check it out. Send some at 200. About a two inch drop, maybe. Here's our here's our hits there. One, two, three. All right. So back from the range. How did we do? Well, here's our paper plate from a hundred yards. At a hundred yards, with that six hundred and sixty grain machine gun linked ball ammo. I got a 1.5 inch group at 100 yards, which to me, yeah, that's acceptable with that ammo. I might have could have done a little bit better, uh, but hey, not too shabby for a 50 BMG. Uh, but like I was saying earlier, that 50, it really is a nice rig. Um, only thing about that 50 is I wish it had a little bit lighter trigger squeeze. I'm sure there's some way you can make it better but i don't know what the trigger pull is but it's not light um so 
lining it up and holding it and squeezing it off with that ammo, 1.5 inch group and 100. Okay, I, I take it. Um, then at 200 yards, how did we do? And how much did it drop? So here's our, our uh, sheet here. So I shot three at 200 yards. One hit the bullseye, one hit here and one hit here. So call it an average hit right there, that red line with a drop of 1.75 inches based on that average, if you can see that. And then what kind of group did we get? Well, measuring it out, I got a 3.75 inch group at 200 yards. Definitely could have done better than that, kind of bummed out, but not too bad for 50 BMG, uh, not too bad, and that ammo. Uh, that ball ammo is definitely not some precision stuff. Now, uh, I do have some more precision stuff. I didn't fire it for this video. I have a lot in other videos, but I didn't in this video because this stuff is $10 a pop. But these are the precision match grade stuff I have. Give you a little bit of look at what they look like. A little silver tip on them. The Hornady A-Max. This would be the rounds that I would take it for deer hunting. So, comment down below uh, if you want to see us do some hunting with the 50 BMG and some of these A-Max rounds. Only 10, 10 bucks a bullet. It's a lot cheaper ammo than the uh, elephant gun. Uh, but hey, there's the... Uh, Amex precision stuff. With these, we can pretty much put them in the same hole if I do my part and pull the trigger good. Done that in some videos before, but this is this is the cream of the crop precision stuff. When guys are go out there shooting a mile, two miles with their fifties, this is the stuff that they're flinging. But uh, I told you we'd do a drop test. Let's go ahead and do a drop test all the way out to a mile, um, and. I'll run it quick uh, with these 660 grainers, and then I'll run it quick with these Amax just to show you the drop. So we saw here um, in today's test, they dropped what? 1.75 inches. So let's see what happens when I do the number crunching here on the drop chart. First with the 660 grainers, then with those 750 grain Amaxes. All right, guys, so here's the drop chart for that ammo I was using at the range there. It's got the BC of 0 0.64. It's a 661 grain boo lot, 2,800 feet per second. We zeroed mine at 100 yards. This drop chart is saying at 200 yards, it should be dropping three and a half inches, which is not what we saw there at the range. Kind of close, but not really. But if you go down a little bit, out to 400 yards, it's dropping just a little over 200 feet. 600 yards, 78 inches. 1,000 yards, 295 inches. You can see the MOA and the mills dials there for your scope there at those yardages. All the way down to a mile. So a mile is 1,760 uh, yards. You can see at 1,700 yards, that is dropping 1,316 inches. And then you can see the MOA column first and then the mill column for the dials on your scope there. So at a mile, that's how much that uh, M33 660 grain stuff is dropping. Also, if you'll notice, that stuff is going below the sound barrier in between 1,500 and 1,600 feet per second. Now let's look at that high dollar AMAX stuff here. So... The BC on that stuff is 1.050, that's crazy. The uh, bullet weight, 750 grain, 78, 15 feet per second. Zeroed at 100, that stuff is saying it's supposed to drop about 3 inches at 200 yards. Go down to 500 yards, 44 inches at 400 yards, it's dropping right at 2 feet. And then go down to 1,240 inch drop. And then this stuff is still supersonic at a mile. That is pretty sweet. You can see down there, 1,700, 1,800 yards, the drop there. It's dropping a lot less 
than that other stuff we were showing. A lot less. A whole lot less. So this stuff is much, much flatter than that linked ball ammo uh, that we used at the range there. But pretty, pretty cool stuff there. Here at the end of the video, I'm going to put that entire video, that one where I exploded that lime. I'll put the entire video right here in case you guys missed it. I'm pretty sure a bunch of you guys probably missed that one. Check this footage out. Bonus footage. Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal and I brought out my 50 BMG. If you're not familiar just from looking at this thing, this is a Barrett M99. It's got the heavy barrel. I have put a Zero Tech Thrive HD scope on it. Super clear Zero Tech scope. I sighted it in for deer season last year. Uh, believe it or not, these babies go for $4,000 and like three years ago I said, man, I'm just going to put a Barrett on a credit card. It's going to make our YouTube channel just go crazy. People love to see 50 BMG videos. But all the videos flopped and but now we got a 50 BMG Barrett. Um, anyways, I was looking in the safe said, what haven't we uh, filmed recently? I said 50 BMG. So, we're going to see if this baby is still sighted in. We got some 660 grain rounds. We're going to start with a watermelon, then a cantaloupe, then a mango, and then lastly, a lemon. And if we can hit a lemon at 100 yards, then this baby's still sighted in. But... Let's go back to 100. I'm going to set up the slow-mo cameras so we can get some splody bits footage of all this stuff getting hit with the Mondo Boo Lots. Check it out, just how big though it is in my hand. But, should be a whole lot of fun uh, if we can hit something. I think we could. Like I said, uh, I set this up for hunting with this really nice piece of Zero Tech glass. Uh, I'll give you a close-up look here in a second. Uh, but yeah, should be ready to go. I haven't touched it since I put it away uh, for deer season last year. But let's get set up, ready to go. Here is another real quick look at this Barrett here. Big old iconic muzzle brake. Big heavy barrel. And like I said, we've got that real nice Zero Tech Thrive HD optic on top. We got the Barrett Zero Stop rings on there. Super, super sweet rings. And yeah, we got that fruit down there at 100 yards. We're going to start the biggest to smallest and see if this baby's still on. It should be. We got four fruits. I only brought four boo lots, so we better hit them all. Let's see what we can do here. All right, you definitely want some ears on this one. Whew. We're going watermelon first. Can we hit the watermelon here? Whew, I hope we can. I'm out of breath now though, setting up the cameras. Watermelon, 100 yards. Let's get it. No more watermelon. What's next? Uh, cantaloupe. Stand by, we're gonna go set up the cantaloupe. Man, that watermelon flew sky high. Cantaloupe. Here we go, 100 yards cantaloupe. Oh, I got you now. Get it? Cantaloupe is gone. Hey, I think she sighted in pretty decent still. Where'd we fling that other one? Man, I'm so excited. I don't know what I did with the brass. It's hard to miss those. All right, uh, what's next? Mango, see if we can hit a mango at 100. Mango at 100. 
mango, 100 yards. I lock that bolt down. 100 yard mango. I think we got it. Hey, that's about the size of a deer heart, so we're good. But we're gonna make it even harder, and uh, we're gonna go for a lemon. What's that the size of? Maybe a turkey heart? Let's see if we can smoke a lemon at 100 yards. This would be something. 100 yards lemon. That's not a lemon, that's a lime. Lime at 100. All right, here we go. The uh, lime fell off, we got it back up now. Lime. At 100 yards, see if we can get it. Hey, got it. I think this baby's ready for deer season 2021. What do you think? But let's go up there and see if we can find anything left of all that. I don't think we will. But, all that fruit there was on top of this piece of wood. And, uh, on this table, there's a little piece of cantaloupe. I think that's some watermelon splatter, but aside from that, uh, there's a little tiny piece of watermelon. And there's some cantaloupe way over there by Paul, but Really, uh, there's nothing left of anything. So, there is something to be said about the power of the 50 BMG. But, appreciate you guys watching and coming along for another 50 BMG video. Comment down below what you want to see with the 50 next. Deer hunting, whatever, what have you. Uh, but, appreciate you guys watching. Always a good range day when we take the Barrett out. We will see you guys on the next one. Appreciate you big time. We have the best viewers on the interwebs. See y'all in the next one. Woo